how to organize and manage your website in Scrivener. Do you want to take your visitor on a journey through your website that results in an opt-in, trial or purchase, but you found that with all the pages you have to build and emails you have to compile, you're struggling to keep track of all the moving parts? I've created a free Scrivener template with a roadmap or funnel to follow and folders containing each of the pages and emails you need to create. All you have to do is adjust it to suit the particular journey you want your visitors to go on. Hi, this is Kaz from Scrivener Quick Start, where I help you organize your projects and get more done faster using Scrivener. And in this training, I'm going to show you how you can use my Scrivener website template or copy me to create a template of your own. To take your visitor from initial awareness of your company or offer to enrolling in your membership or making a purchase, you'll need a lead page, a product page, a checkout page and various thank you pages, as well as a pre-built email sequence of interesting content to send to your subscribers to keep them opening your emails until you're able to persuade them to take the action you want them to take. That sounds like a lot of moving parts, but it needn't be complicated. All you have to do is map out the various elements and how they connect to each other, which in marketing terms is called a funnel. If my funnel doesn't suit the journey you want your visitor to take, you can create your own funnel in PowerPoint, Keynote or Canva using simple squares and arrows and drag it into your Scrivener binder to replace the template one. But for this demo, I'll use the basic funnel. I've created folders for each of the pages you'll need and folders inside them with examples of what you need for each particular page and files to store your information. I've added real examples in green as a guide which you will replace with your own copy. Then I've added a folder for all of your emails with examples of what to say. You'll find a link to my Scrivener template page in the description below so that you can download the template we're working on today and you'll find instructions on the same page to upload it to your Scrivener app and add your own spin to it. So let's go through the template in Scrivener. Before you start, read the most commonly used web terms and refer back to it any time you don't understand the jargon. For easy reference, the basic funnel or roadmap is at the top. Then I keep a to-do list, which I check every time I'm working on my website so that I never forget anything and always know which tasks are the most urgent. Followed by any information about branding. This is handy if I'm working across platforms and just need a reminder of a color or font. I record links to all my pages for quick access. If you paste a link into Scrivener and then press enter, Scrivener turns it into a clickable link automatically. So you can go directly to your pages from within Scrivener. These are real links, so you can click on them and see my actual pages. Feel free to download resources and then replace these links with your own. In order to have any of your pages found in Google search, you need to research and apply the keywords that most describe your pages. Keep them handy and update them from time to time because they can change. Next, I've included folders for each of the pages you'll need for a website. Go through them and keep the ones you want and send the rest to the trash. Of course, you'll need a home page, which is the entrance to your website. And how you set this up will depend on the purpose of your website. So they will all be different. But here's a roadmap to get you started. Keep what's useful and delete what isn't. Then split your screen. Place your cursor in the second screen to make it active and select the on page file. This will be your actual home page. Begin to write the copy for your page following the advice in the roadmap. Place your cursor in the top screen and open your keywords list to incorporate your researched keywords and your links folder to fetch any links. Then skip back to the roadmap using the back button. Find an appropriate banner image or create a video and store them in an assets folder on your hard drive. 
Now you can link to these assets via the inspector window. But first, make sure you have the correct document selected. So place your cursor inside the home page document. And I'll reduce the binder window to make space for the inspector. Open the inspector menu. If you're using Scrivener 3, open the Bookmarks tab here. In earlier versions, use the Document References tab. They work in a very similar way. Click on the three dots More icon or the Gear icon. Choose Add External File. Navigate to your Assets folder and add the assets for this page. In this case, the banner image. Scrivener will list them in this top section and you can preview them in the bottom section. So anytime you select this on page file and you have the inspector window open, you'll be able to get a quick preview of the images or videos on the page without having to go searching for them on your hard drive. Keep following the roadmap and linking to other assets that are going to go on the page. I've left some advice and links to examples for you here. Place your cursor in the top split and go and polish up your on-page search engine optimization. These are the recommended character counts for each title and your description. And this is the recommended size for the OG image that will be used if anyone shares the link to your page on social media. Go back to the commonly used web terms document to find out about OG images. Then there are a couple of pages that every website needs and the links to them are usually found in the footer of a website. I've added examples of my own in green. You may need to set up a 404 page and a cookies page depending on your web provider. If you have affiliate links on any of your pages, you have to disclose that they are affiliate links and rather than have to explain what an affiliate link is every time you add one to each page, consider having a full affiliate link explanation page and link to it. Once you have all your legal pages, you can add links to them in the footer bar of all your other pages. Moving on to your action pages. And for this, we're going to need the funnel as a guide. Your visitor could come from an ad, a social share, or from your own home page. And your aim is to get their contact details. So first, you're going to need a lead capture or opt-in page with an image of something cool that they can get if they sign up and an opt-in form. To keep the funnel as a reference at the same time as editing your lead capture page, split your screen. Adjust the split so that you can see a decent portion of the funnel at the top and open the lead capture page in the second split. As with your home page, follow the prompts, use your keywords and page links and add any links to your media assets via the inspector window. Store all your information about the lead magnets in this lead magnet file a link to a downloadable PDF or video, a draft or transcript of the document, etc. Once they click on this opt-in button, they are automatically taken to a thank you page with access to the download link. And at the same time, this triggers an automated follow-up sequence of emails that you're going to compose here in Scrivener and then set up with your email autoresponder. If you don't know what an email autoresponder is, find out all about it in the commonly used web terms document. Create your thank you page using the prompts. Open your communications folder and compose your thank you email using the prompts for the confirmation email. This first email goes out immediately, asking them to confirm that they want to receive emails from you, and I always include another link to the downloads page, which I've conveniently stored in my links folder. Now, just follow the strategy infographic. A day later, an email goes out to them, thanking them for subscribing and adding a link to a really useful piece of content that they will love. So open the next email file. 
write your copy and add a link to something that will intrigue them enough or they'll love enough to open your next email. This doesn't have to be your own content. Find cool and interesting videos or websites about your subject or point people to the latest news about your subject until you have accumulated assets of your own to send them to. Every couple of days thereafter, they'll receive an email containing helpful or fascinating content that ties in with the thing you're promoting. This could be two or three more emails spaced anywhere between two and five days apart. And then further emails with cool content, but also encouraging them to take action with a link taking them to your sales page. Open the corresponding email files here in the binder and write up this copy. Add more files if you need to. Once you start making your offer in your emails, you need to build a sales page to link to. Now, this could be in the form of a sales letter with an image or a video. Write your copy or your video transcript, make sure it's optimized for the web, and jot down any notes or links pertaining to this web page. While we're working on the sales page, if you need help with your sales copy, I've added a sales letter roadmap in the document templates folder with advice and suggestions to help you along and a blank sales letter template to work inside. To add a document template, select the document immediately above where you want your template and go to Project, New from Template and choose the template. Rename it and follow the prompts in the roadmap. Back inside the sales funnel, if at any time your visitor clicks on the purchase button on your sales page, they're taken to your checkout page. So you need to build that. Once again, replace my copy with your own, make any notes you need and store any important links. Once they've completed checkout, they automatically land on your thank you for purchase page and at the same time, they're automatically sent a confirmation of purchase email from your payment gateway. Your payment gateway will have specific legal criteria that must be displayed on your thank you page. Make sure you comply and then create your thank you page. And that's how to get the best out of this Scrivener website template. I hope being able to see everything in one project at the same time makes it easier for you to create your pages and compose your emails and makes it easier when you want to make changes down the line. In the next video, I'll show you how to manage all your correspondence in one Scrivener project with swipe files for different types of email copy in handy folders right beside your editor for easy reference. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.